Parks where they have closed all intake of new cats for two weeks because of a deadly and contagious disease outbreak. WMER 2 News Abby Isaacs joins us from the shelter in Cherry Hill with more on what caused it all. It stems from a hoarding case last week. Now a few cats have died and dozens of others are under quarantine. This was a huge volume. 133 cats in one hoarding case. It's the amount of cats Barks usually takes in in a whole week. And they did exactly what they do with all 7,000 other cats that come through their care. Every single one came in, got their vaccines, got examined individually by a vet, um, and got spayed and neutered. Those that were healthy and friendly were adopted out or put into foster homes. Others that stayed in the shelter continued to be cared for and tested for things like panleukopenia, also known as feline distemper or feline parvo. It's a highly contagious and deadly disease, but it's rare because most kittens are vaccinated for it. We were testing for it um, all the way through up until yesterday, and they came back negative. But because it has a two-week incubation period, cats can test negative and later test positive. And that's exactly what happened. A handful tested positive Tuesday, a week after intake. There have been a few that have gone downhill quickly. A few of them were so sick they couldn't be saved. 50 others still at the shelter that were exposed are under quarantine and being tested every day. They're also providing free testing and care to the 47 families who adopted cats from this case and the rescues and fosters who took others. It's unfortunate that we have 133 cats that are now potentially exposed or compromised in some way. While they handle all of it, they've suspended cat intake and the community resource team is working to help people find a different option. And just to either hold on to that cat for two more weeks, um, perhaps rehome it themselves um, or work with another rescue. They're also looking for monetary donations for the testing and medical care and cardboard litter boxes. The protocols call for us to be extremely diligent in this situation. So cardboard litter boxes, while it seems like such a silly thing to be asking for in such a tragic moment, uh, we really need them here at the shelter. There are still cats here at the shelter that were not exposed and are available for adoption. Now in two weeks, Barks will reevaluate the situation to possibly resume intake. In Baltimore, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News.